There's almost a glut on the local haunted house market this year, but Balloon Manor has got to be one of the most unique haunted houses in the whole world. Let's go inside. Inflation began Friday morning in this empty Southtown Plaza store. Yeah, about 40 or 50,000 balloons later. There will be 60 to 70,000 balloons by the time this is done. Larry Moss and fellow balloon artist Royal Sorrell set a world's record for the largest balloon sculpture in 2000. Moss created the first piloted balloon sculpture last summer. Balloon art is not just making dogs and cats. It, it can go so much further. Moss and Los Angeles balloon artist Don Caldwell started planning Balloon Manor in January. We ended up with 54 experienced balloon artists taking part in this project. They have come from uh, all over the U.S. and Canada. And then on top of that, there are about 30,000 balloons in the walls. We had somewhere around 225 community volunteers. I was just trying to give her a little love because we've been here for 14 hours. After five long days of construction, the manor will open to the public for just five days due to the temporary nature of the medium. We got a broken segment here. Moss hopes for permanent results, though. All proceeds, including an auction of the most popular pieces, will benefit Wilmot Cancer Center. We're hope, hoping that uh, the public is going to appreciate the artistry and the work that our creators have put into this stuff. And also, hopefully, they're going to be extra generous because all the money is going towards the cancer center. Balloon Manor opens to the public Wednesday at 3 p.m. and runs through Halloween at midnight. That's Sunday, and that's when the auction takes place. Find out about it at rnews.com. And that's your front row seat. I'm Sally Cohen, R News.